quite a, a start to the season with that victory and the manager obviously saying that, that you could have had even more. How are you all feeling? Um, yeah, we're all feeling great. Uh, the first day of the season, we know how the game went. We can, uh, we got the result we needed and we could have probably scored a few more goals and showed up a wee bit, kind of just played our own football a wee bit more, but we know getting into more games will get better and better as the season goes on. It was quite a familiar look to the team, but how are the, the new players settling in? Yeah, they're all settling in great. Um, they've all added kind of great quality and uh, everybody's very together. Kind of, they've fitted in well, nobody looks out of place and it's just good to have them here. Yeah, I just wondered if, if playing Ross County away is a kind of different animal to other clubs of, of their like, you know, playing in Dingwall. Yeah, it's different. Uh, starting for the journey, can I, it's just the furthest away team. Um, you go up there and you know who you're going to face. They'll be physical, they'll, um, they'll put in a great test for us. And it's a kind of smaller, I think it's a smaller, kind of compact ground stadium, a uh, tight park, and um, they'll try to kind of stamp their own game, their own kind of qualities in the game and uh, take it to us. So we know it's going to be a tough test. And for yourself, David, just keep pushing to try and get more game time. Yeah, it's just about training every day, giving it my all, and whenever I get the chance in a game, it's trying to kind of do what I can do on the pitch and show everybody that. And it's just whether it's for the bench or for starting, I'll give a hundred percent every time. Hi, David. Um, yeah, just talking about that there. Last season, obviously disrupted uh, around Christmas with that injury you had. You still got six goals. I think. 25 or so games played in the league. Have you got targets this year in terms of goals, assists? Is, is it just about playing more minutes, playing more games? Um, I'd say I've got more kind of targets in my head and um, what I want to do. Um, game time, I'd say last season I played quite a lot. To be honest, I know I had injury, but there was a lot of games. Um, they were coming thick and fast. And I'd say it was just to kind of try play as many games as I can and just Hopefully my body keeps up. Last season it was disappointment, but uh, I'm feeling fit and ready to go. Can you let us know any of those targets? Is it maybe ten league goals? So it's some more goals uh, in Europe, perhaps? Let us know. That'd be nice. Ten league goals, we'll say that. Perfect. Thank you. I think some of us were uh, quite surprised about how kind of critical Ange was after the game at the weekend. There, it was a comprehensive win, but he was saying that the you know, the, the players were wasteful at, at times during the game. Is that just an indication of how high he demands the standards to be and, and to keep striving for those standards? Yeah, it shows you kind of what the manager wants for the boys. We know we put in a good performance, but it could have been better. There was small moments where there was kind of, we were slack possession or gave the ball away. Um, I think we knew that during the game and it's just about fixing that and it's not that we played bad, I just feel we could have done a few things um, better. Um, but we know what we need to do and we'll, we'll try to improve on that every game. The trip to Dingwall last December saw Tony Ralston score that extra time winner. Uh, how much did that kind of typify Celtic's spirit last season and their determination? Yeah, it did. Um, it kind of showed our never die attitude. Um, we were pushing the full game. Um, Ross County kind of set the last 10 minutes behind the, sat, behind the ball and kind of made it hard for us to break break them down and just about going to the very final minute and I think that was where it was, 96, 97 minutes and we kept playing our own football and it was it was just about believing in it and, and it um, kind of worked in the end. Cheers. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, David. Um, I'm sure you've seen in the last couple of weeks other Scottish teams playing European ties. Does that Wait your appetite for what's coming for you as a player in the Champions League? Yeah, it does. It's good to see how other teams got on. Um, and looking forward to later on in the season, knowing we, we have the Champions League, it just makes you kind of extra look forward to it. Um, you know, how big the Champions League is and how great it will be at Celtic Park and, and the away ties. It will be a great challenge and really looking forward to it. I mean that I know the draws are a few weeks away yet, but when that comes out, are you looking for, you know, 
glamour tie, the big teams, or would you prefer teams that Celtic would have a chance against getting through? Um, I'd, yeah, I think everybody would say they'd like a glamour tie. Um, but us, we believe in ourselves. Um, can I go anywhere and can I try play off football? So it'll be exciting at the time and it'll be uh, good to watch on and see how we get. Hi, David. Um, you've had you've had a year working um, with, under the manager now. Do you feel that you've developed as a player, and do you think that there's more to come from you this season? Um, yeah, I think um, I'm wanting to improve every season, kind of every week, and I feel I have done that under the manager. He's brought in his style of football. I feel it really suited me. Um, it's been great to work with him, kind of see his ideas and just different ways to play the game and uh, I think on behalf of everybody, everybody's enjoying it and it'll be good to see how the season goes. The game up at Dingwall in April seemed quite a significant significant day in the terms of the title. We had to win that day just to keep ahead and the away support were amazing that day. How important would they be on Saturday? Yeah, they'll be huge. Um, they fall everywhere in good numbers. Um, we know we're back there and cheering us on, it's about us on the pitch, doing it for them and going out there, battling hard and kind of try to get the result we want and making them happy. Cheers, David. Thanks, David. Anthony? Hi, David, how are you doing? Um, obviously, this season we've not had any qualifiers. I was just wondering, how's the preparation been? Obviously, the last two seasons with big qualifiers have been quite difficult. How's it been getting into the season without any qualifiers to navigate? Yeah, it's been a bit strange the past few seasons, um, but I think it's gave us a wee bit of time to kind of do a wee bit more on the training pitch and a pre-season over in Austria and stuff like that. Um, a few more pre-season games as well. It's about getting fitness, and I feel it's it's been different, but it's been good. Um, just kind of building towards the first kind of league game last week, and then it's about continuing that on. Uh, in the midfield, we've got some excellent players, McGregor, Hitati, and Riley. Um, how do you motivate each other and how do you kind of work with each other in training? Yeah, it's just about pushing each other. Um, we're all great players. Um, it's great to work with them, kind of, we support each other. Um, we know not everyone else can play every game, so it's about helping each other. And just when you get your chance, try to go out there and, and take it. and give a hundred percent and just try stamp your own your own quality in the game and um and training. It's about working as hard as you can and just pushing each other as I said. Um I was just wondering with um, Tom Rogic uh, having left in the, the, the summer, um do you see this as a, an opportunity to um, nail down that sort of number ten role and um get more regular game time? Um, with Tom leaving, I think last season most of the games I played at start of the season was with Tom, um, so it was good. It was great to play alongside him. Him leaving can open up spaces for other boys, whoever it is. Um, but yeah, I'd like whatever position I'd play, I'd like to nail down and can I make him my own. That's it's just up to me if I perform well and can I do what I need to do. And head to Ross County, that's sort of 33 league games unbeaten. Is that something that comes into your thinking at all? Um, probably not. It's just taking each game as it comes, I think. Um, last week with the first league game with a great result, and it's a completely different challenge this week, and it's about going there and kind of try to get an R3 points and just focusing on that game.